Now you can see when we get it back in the lane, we're going to cut this end off. You can see it start running smoothly. It's off. All one sided. We take it off smooth and bore it out. We take the time and bore it slow. We should get really close. Because it's about dry tension, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I have noticed when I dry sitting here and that, I've done something with a no-no. Even in the hill in the shop. I've got a coat on. I've got to get that off before I roll it over. But I'll show you quickly what I do here when we throw a roll it. Pretty close. All I gotta do is drill it. Gotta bore it out. I'm not gonna move it. It's where it needs to be right now. I'm gonna put the biggest bit I got and we'll eventually get it up to a 5 8 Cause the shaft was 5 8 Well, we're back again. I shortened the video the other day because I figured it was a little long, a little boring. That's what we're doing. We're gonna bore today. But we're gonna do it semi right way. You know. We hillbilly, we hillbilly the uh, bushing. We used a pipe fitting. Y'all watch me push the old bushing out. Cut a new bushing. Pushed it in there with the press. Didn't really have to. It didn't fit really tight, but I was hoping it would gold it a little bit, make it tighter. Of course, I chamfered each end off, cleaned the ends up. It's still a little loose, so I put it on a wood block and took a the ball end of a ball hammer and tapped it a little bit to tighten it because when I went to cutting it I actually could turn it a little bit. It was pushing it because of the pressure the cutting bit was putting on it. But I've got the big drill bit. We're not going to step drill. I hope I can push right through this with a 5 8 nice and slow. Got a little oil. But just a little bit. This stuff's slick. Slimy stuff. Rapid tap. Never used it before. I found some bottles of it the other day and I thought I'd try it. Let's get this pulley done. too fast for a 5 8 bit. I should have slowed it down a little more. Two reasons. Like I said, I wanted the heat to build up and make that bushing expand. It'll make it grip. 
when you drill brass like that especially if you get it warm it will expand and it will grab and it will make it stick in here better I've never had no trouble building bushings this way not a lot of people does it around here this way but I mean if you don't have a piece of brass or bronze or what is it, the old soap bronze what they really like making bushings out of you gotta use the next best thing you can find I think it's going to turn out really great. It usually does. I know somebody's going to fuss you going way too fast. This is also a really old lathe. And to change the speed, I've got to move the motor and change the belt. And yeah, it wasn't worth it. I could have dropped it down about a third of the speed. But you got to go back here in the back and change this belt. It's got two belts in this old machine and a gearbox. I'm already in the high range of the gearbox. I put it in low range. It'd been so slow, it'd, it'd take us 15 minutes to drill the hole. But I've got a belt back here on the motor that you change. It will change the RPM pretty, a little bit. And this one up here changes it quite a bit. There's a three, three sets of pulleys up here, and there's two back here, and then there's a two range gearbox in it. We're in high range in the gearbox. The first belt on this one, and the second belt on that one. So there's a lot of combinations, you know, there's like 12 different combinations I could do. We're somewhere in the middle. But it works. Let's see how we did. We just a little bit underside. Well, no, ain't, ain't too bad. Gonna be very tight. It probably needs honing a little bit because the shaft out there really hasn't wore much. I don't have a bigger bit right now, five eighths, but <sighs> well, when you ain't got what you need, you gotta use what you got. So. Cause it's a bushing. You put some grease in it. A little wobble don't hurt it on what it's done. As far as running the belt to run the tines, you don't want it really tight anyway on that particular tiller. You put a good belt on and you get a good tight tensioner going. Anything hangs the tines on a roto hole, you're going for a ride. It will stand up on the times, even that six and a half horse, and it will drag a big man. It'll drag two men, probably. When I first got it, the belt was in really good shape, and I didn't understand how strong it really was. You know, I'm a 370-pound man. I've had the thing for several years. I was a young man, I thought. But I can tell you, it got the best of me. That's the reason I keep it. I know it's good and it's strong. It's just figuring out how to use it and keeping it in shape to use it. This is how we're going to finish up this pulley. I'll have to wait till daylight to go put it on. We might just do that on the end of this video. But I thought I'd show you. Makes a nice, clean, tight bushing. It needs a little filing. I'm going to take a flat file, clean it. But next time you see it, we're going to be sliding on the machine.